our next question from Halia. Uh, she gave us a call earlier. MashaAllah, she gave us a, uh, a few different questions. So I hope you're ready. <laughs> the first one is, as you know, verily uh, Allah and His prophets pray on, uh, His angels pray on the prophet. Mm-hmm. She's asking, what's the kafiyah? What's the way of giving salams? O oh, you who believe, give salams to the, the prophet. The verse says, إِنَّ اللَّهَ وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ يُصَلُّونَ عَلَى النَّبِيِّ يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا صَلُّوا عَلَيْهِ وَسَلِّمُوا تَسْلِيمًا And it means, indeed, Allah and His angels Yusalluna upon the Prophet. Mm-hmm. I would just quote in Arabic, then explain the literal meaning of the word Yusalli. Right. Then all you who believe, you too, Sallu alayhi and Sallimu Taslima. The word Salah is an Arabic word, has a very broad meaning. It means different things. For instance, a Salah literally means a dua, to make invocation or right. supplication. Right. And with regards to our prayer, it's certain actions begin with the takbir and ends with the taslim, our regular prayer. Right. In this particular ayah, when we say Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, yusalli upon the Prophet, that Allah blesses the Prophet. Allah praises the Prophet. That's the meaning of that. So a salah from Allah to His Prophet, to His servants, is to praise them, is to forgive them their sins, is to have mercy on them, is to raise them in ranks. وَمَلَائِكَتَهُ They too do salah upon the Prophet. What does it mean? Would they uh, bless Prophet Muhammad? Or No, it means here they invoke Allah to send His blessings and admiration upon Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. So the command came that if Allah is the first to praise Prophet Muhammad and the angels are praying to ask Allah the Almighty to bless and praise Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, then you too join this beautiful company and invoke Allah the Almighty to bless Prophet Muhammad and to the, send the best peace and salutation upon him. The word Taslim literally means to give salam, to say, hello, how are you? Right. How, how are you doing? Assalamu alaikum, and so on. And the best greeting ever is, Assalamu alaikum. Right. So when you send a taslim upon the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, you're greeting Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> and the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam has said in one very interesting hadith. Indeed, Friday is one of the best days to Allah subhanahu wa taala. And invoke Allah to send the peace and salutation upon me a lot on Friday. Indeed, your prayers, your greeting will be presented before me, and I will answer you back. Right. So when you say, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad, Allah the Almighty will allow Prophet Muhammad to answer you back, mm-hmm. and pray for you too. So, some of the companions say, O Messenger of Allah, how our prayers will be presented before you, waqad arimt. Your body will be decomposed after decades, after centuries, Right. Really composed. At that, the Prophet ﷺ explained this very interesting fact, which is that in Allah حرم على الأرض أن تأكل أجساد الأنبياء. Allah banned the earth, the ground, from devouring, decomposing the bodies of the prophets, right. from Adam to Muhammad ﷺ. Their bodies are preserved as the same day that they have died. This is the second fact. The third fact that every time somebody send a peace and salutation upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu the following verses would come. One, Allah the Almighty would send the soul back to Prophet Muhammad so that he will be able to answer you back and he will say, peace be upon you too. And he will greet you as well. Second version, that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa has said, whosoever sins once, peace and salutation upon me, Allah the Almighty would send His forgiveness, His mercy, His salutation upon you ten times. Ten times. Once for ten times. Al-Hasanatu bi-ashri amthaliha. Man jaa'a bil-hasanati falahu ashru amthaliha. Whosoever does one single good deed, Allah will give him ten more. Right. And this is the minimum. Third virtue, that if somebody is experiencing any hardship, any difficulty, any wars, he's in debt. Occupy your time, send in the peace and salutation upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa We go back to the fourth fact, which is 
that how should we send a peace and salutation upon Prophet Muhammad sallallahu How should we praise him? You could not praise him better than the way that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala praised him. Right. So when he was asked, he said he taught us to send the peace and salutation upon him as prescribed in the second part of Tashahud or the Durud Sharif by saying, Allahumma salli ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama sallayta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim innaka hamidun majid. Allahumma barik ala Muhammadin wa ala ali Muhammad kama barakta ala Ibrahim wa ala ali Ibrahim fil alamina innaka hamidun majid.